And so here comes that old voice from back in the past, remember? You're not good enough, that's why it didn't work. You're a failure. He rejected you. Grew up in a huge family, seven brothers, uh, me and a sister. But I love my dad. I remember growing up, sitting on his lap on our huge front porch. We would sing together all the time. He always told me, you're so special. It tore my family apart, so dad ended up leaving. He didn't say goodbye to me. I thought, wow, does that mean I'm no longer special? I'm no longer good enough? I felt like it was something I did wrong. Maybe I pushed him away. Maybe I could have done something to make dad stay, loved him more, been a better child, something. I blamed me. I wasn't good enough, wasn't smart enough, wasn't pretty enough. I didn't know if I could really open up. He can't love me. I'm too flawed. I'm, I'm too messed up. So he can't really love me like that. He was really handsome. He was like a man that was a man of my dreams. Swept me off my feet. Oh, this is it. This is what I've been looking for, finally. Very abusive marriage, right off the bat. He was raised um, in foster care and was abused. The rage that he had, uh, he brought into the marriage. You're ugly. No man is ever gonna want you, Charlene. You're lucky I want you. He would say things like that. It just made me feel that much more unworthy. You couldn't even get married right. And they said, Jesus wants to have a personal, I'll never forget it, a personal relationship with you. I'd heard the Bible stories. I would heard that Jesus died on the cross, but I had never heard that Jesus he wanted to have a personal relationship with me. Incredible. And I felt like my heart said, this is what I've been looking for. And I prayed with him to receive Jesus. And I felt it. I felt his love. I started walking with God in a way two people fall in love. That's what it was like. I started getting into his word, and it was like a love letter to me. He began to show me that you are accepted in me. I began to build a relationship with the Lord through prayer. He could never find a job, and he had a breakdown. Well, we were without a home. I prayed so much. I'm talking deep intercession with fasting, with tears for 15 years. But he decided, forget it. And he filed for divorce. And so here comes that old voice from back in the past, remember? not good enough, that's why it didn't work. You're a failure. He rejected you. And remember what he said, no one else is going to want you. The pain, the shame, the disappointment that this marriage was the way that it, it, it forced me to my knees. And that's the greatest place that I could ever be is on my knees in the presence of my Heavenly Father. My gosh, what God began to do 
was amazing. God began to uncover the layers of hurt and disappointment and rejection. He began to speak to me. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, Charlene. I'm not like your ex-husband. I'm not like your dad. And then my soul began to know it. And then here's this guy who comes into my life with this bright, beautiful smile and dimples too. Loves Jesus, prayer warrior, he's a pastor, all that. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I wasn't expecting you, I wasn't looking anymore. I still cry that God would do this. He chose him for me. That little girl who way back then was looking for love and acceptance, that you would do this for me. What an amazing father I have. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you know, one of the miracles of God's creation is our minds. And yet, when we are treated wrongly, when harsh words are spoken to us, when we've been physically harmed, when someone demeans us day in and day out, our minds grab hold of those words, of those pictures, of those moments. And it causes us to begin to question our value. You know, question God, you know, what, and the question, what are we here for? What was I created for? What's this all about? And we live in that place until we come to know that God can come right into that same place and literally with a breath of heaven, blow all of that away and give us a brand new beginning. Wipe clean the slate and give us a whole new life. I believe that one of the reasons that the person that God sent into Charlene's life didn't come sooner was because she was working through those things. She was finding her heavenly father. She was erasing that board, those voices inside of her head that were telling her she wasn't worthy. And you know, they do come back. You can think you put them down for a time. You can, you can get into another relationship. You can get into a job that's demanding. You can get into loving your children or your family or whatever, but those voices come back until you do business with them. And you know what that business is? It's giving it to the Lord. It's understanding that God really is your father. He has a father heart for you. You are his child. He's not ever going to leave you. He's not ever going to forsake you. He knows your name. He created you with purpose and intention. All the things that we want our earthly fathers to say to us that sometimes they don't, sometimes they can't. Sometimes they say things that are the antithesis of that. And our hearts and our brains grab hold of that until Jesus comes along and begins to redefine for us who we are, and that happens as he begins to show us who he is. And then he comes in and he lives within us and we spend each day with him and he begins to redefine how we see life, how we see the people around us and how we see ourselves. Today, if you have experienced something like Charlene has in any relationship in your life, Come home to the Father heart of God and let him heal you. You can have hope, fresh beginning, new life, and the wonderful relationship with the Father who loves you intentionally and will never leave you. If you need to pray with someone, call our toll-free number. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.